Well, let's go ahead and get started then. Let's start in your easy seated position. And before we get moving, take a moment to settle. With your eyes opened or closed, whatever feels best to you. See if you can feel that sensation of being in your body and feeling the clothing on your skin, feeling the movement of your breath against your clothing. Feeling the weight of your body sitting on the floor. Maybe even noticing some texture against your skin. Maybe even noticing temperature against your skin. Just using this little way to feel present is noticing a sensation right here and right now. Notice your breath, it doesn't need to change. So let's do soften the face and the space between your eyebrows, your jaw. And throughout the practice, do your best to keep your face soft and your jaw soft, space in your mouth. And start your torso rotation, start big. Nice big wide rotations. All of these initial movements and all of the movements really are at your own pace. These don't necessarily follow the breath, <clears throat> but they could. Start to work your way up into your waist. Maybe seeing if you can keep your shoulders more situated over your hips and just letting the torso rotate. Let's see if you can work that rotation up into the rib cage. Working on turning, a turning motion, kind of. I guess turning is up and down, technically. Let's come back to center, bring your other leg in front. Let's go in the opposite direction. Notice any difference in how your body feels going in this direction. Start to work up the spine. Work up into the ribs. And come back to center, grab onto your shins. Let's rock over the sit bones. Inhale your belly button forward, exhale, draw it back in. This can be slow or fast. And this is following your breath and the rest of it will be.
Bring your hands to your knees, inhale your chest forward, exhale, draw it back in. The next inhale, lift your chin to the ceiling, stretching your throat. Exhale, chin to chest, stretch the back of your neck, drop your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, lifting your chin. Exhaling, chin to chest. Keep your chin against your chest, drop your shoulders. Let's take a few breaths here. Slide your chin to the left and take a couple of breaths here. We'll go nice and slow with the neck stretches here. Slide your chin over to the right. Deep breaths. Slide to the left. And slide over to the right. Lift your chin up and over to the left. Keep your right shoulder dropped. Make sure you're not leaning over to the left. Lengthen your spine. Drop the shoulders. And let's do that little rotation where you just rotate your skull so your temple is working on pressing up towards the ceiling. Then rotate the face to look down towards your shoulder again. Lift your chin up and over to the right. Spine nice and long, shoulders dropped. Taking nice deep breaths. And then rotate your face. Left temple presses up towards the ceiling. There's so many muscles in your face and your neck that finding just the right ones to help with this rotation. And then you're finding all the rest that are getting that nice stretch when you're doing it. Rotate your face back towards your shoulder and bring your head back to center. Left arm out to the left, right hand to your heart. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. Now inhale right, exhale left. Inhale right, exhale left. Okay. 
and slow down, come back to center. Pause in the center, take some deep breaths here. And bring yourself to hands and knees. So we're going on hands and knees, but eventually we're gonna be upright. So I'm using hands and knees just to get you aligned. Your knees are into your hips and your wrists are starting out under your shoulders. Let's bring the right foot, the right ankle directly underneath your chest. So bringing your foot between your hands. So you want this 90 degree angle alignment here. Bring your arms alongside your ears. Get length in your spine, keeping your torso and your arms parallel to the floor. Find that length first, then clasp your hands. You can have your pointer fingers reaching away if you like. I like to clasp my fingers, especially hooking the thumbs. And let's start to bring the shoulders over the hips, reaching up, coming from just this easy little half kneeling position. If you feel like your hips are ready for it, I know we haven't done any movement, we're kind of doing static stretches here, start to draw the hips forward. Just see where they might go. Keep your arms alongside your ears. So we're doing a couple things here, hips and belly. And if you feel like it, if it feels good, just getting a gentle drawing back on the arms feeling like you're opening up the armpits, opening up the chest a little bit more, just getting more length really, making sure you're breathing, keeping your face and jaw soft. And we go out the same way we came in, bring your arms back over your torso, bring your left hip over your left knee, torso and arms parallel to the floor. And then hands to the floor and come back to hands and knees. Realign, reset yourself up. Bring the left foot forward. Ankle is underneath the knee, underneath your chest. And bring your arms alongside your ears. <coughs> Lengthen out. Clasp your hands. Maybe you can get your arms to press against your ears. Bring your shoulders over your hips. Lengthen up, feel like you're reaching up away from that right knee. And then perhaps you can start to draw your hips forward. Almost like you're sinking on to that left heel. Keep lengthening up. And then eventually, if it feels good, start to continue that reach, pressing the hips forward, lifting the chest, opening the chest a little bit more getting a little bit of a back bend, making sure to breathe. One more breath here. Bring your arms above your torso, bring your shoulders back over your hips, hip over your knee, bring your torso parallel to the floor. Hands to the mat, and let's come back into a down dog. Let your skull hang. If it feels good, pedal your feet. Step between your hands, half lift. Fold forward. Arms out and overhead. And the hands come down to heart center. Let's go for a series A. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Fold forward. 
half lift. Step back into plank. You can have your knees to the floor to lower to chaturanga if you like. Inhale, lengthen up into down dog or up dog, excuse me. And then curl your toes under. Let's come back into down dog. Looking between your hands, step between your hands, half lift. Fold forward. Arms out and overhead. Hands to heart center. Let's do that once more. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Step to plank, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. On an inhale, lift your left leg up behind you. On an exhale, step your foot between your hands. Bring your right knee to the floor. See if you can keep your palms flat to the floor in this. Your left knee is inside your left armpit. Start to lengthen the crown of the head away from your right knee. Then let's heel toe the foot out to the left. Bring your both hands to be to the inside of your left foot. As for the right foot, I like to have my toes curled under. I really like getting a stretch on the sole of my foot. Plant the right hand, reach your left arm up and around to the ceiling, opening up. It's getting an opening in your chest just at first feeling what it's like to open the chest and then bring that left hand, place it on top of your knee and just gently press your left hand into your left knee. Just getting a little bit more of a gentle twist here. Rotate your head, look up to the ceiling. Rotate your head down, look down to the floor. Bring that left hand back down to the floor. Let's see if you can allow that left knee to open out so that you're coming onto the pinky toe, uh, peeking toe side of the left foot, opening out, letting yourself be the little gecko that this pose is named after. Bring the sole of the left foot back to the floor. Lift your right knee off the floor and let's step back into down dog. Draw your hips back. Look between your hands, step to the top, half lift. Fold forward. Arms out and overhead. Hands to heart center. And once more, inhale, reach out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Plank to chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog.
Reach your right leg up behind you and exhale the foot between the hands to start off with left knee to the floor. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your torso. Let's heel toe the right foot. Let's go out to the side, both hands to the inside. So you've got this wider step, the right foot. My right foot is almost to the edge of the mat. Plant the right hand, right arm reaches forward, up and around, rotate towards your right leg, opening your chest. And then bring the right hand to the right knee, press, just gently draw the right rib cage back. And look up to the ceiling, completing the rotation of your spine. down to the floor, both hands to the mat. Let's see if that right knee can open out. If it feels good, I like to give a little bit of a hammock motion here, sort of letting my hips swing in between my right foot and my left knee. sole of the foot to the floor, lift your left knee off the floor and let's step back into down dog. Look between your hands, step to the top, half lift. Fold forward. Arms out and overhead. And hands come down to heart center. Let's just do a little bit of a standing um, back bend, and we're going to get some torso stretching in here as well. <clears throat> left hand goes to your left hip, the back of your, I don't know, low back actually. Inhale, bring your right arm up and reach it back, pressing your left hand into your low back, reaching back. And on an exhale, bring that right arm back down. Right hand goes to your low back. Let's inhale, left arm reaching up and back, pressing your hips forward. And exhaling, left arm comes down. Let's do one more round of that. Inhaling, right arm reaches forward, up and back. Exhaling down, right hand to your low back. Inhale, lengthen left arm up and back. And exhale, left arm comes down, both hands to your low back. Inhale, press your hips forward, draw your torso back. Exhale, press your hips into your hands, stand nice and tall. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale, come back up. Left hand to your left hip, the outside, inhale, right arm reaches up, stretch it over to the left. Press the left foot into the floor. And exhale, bring the right arm down, right arm to your hip, inhale, left arm reaches up and over to the side. This is, in one form of yoga, this is half moon because you're making a half moon. And exhale, that left arm down, let's do that one more time, inhale, left, right arm reaching out to the side. And down, and then left arm reaching out and over, bringing that arm down. Let's bring both of your arms above your head, clasping your hands. You can reach your pointer fingers up if you like. Feet, the comfortable distance, hip width apart or more. Take an inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, tip to the left. We're gonna stay here. Press into the left foot. Deep breaths, letting your ribs move. Press into your left foot to come up. Take a breath in the middle.
Inhale, lengthen up, and we're gonna go to the right. Exhale to the right. It's any back bend or any movement with the spine, you're looking for as much length as you can possibly get. So it's less about the fold of it or how far forward, how far to the right you're folding. It's really none of that. It's keeping length in your spine. And eventually with your breath and the length, the muscles are going to stretch and soften, warm up, and you'll find more space that way. Press into your right foot to come up. Take a breath in the center. And exhale, arms down to your sides, hands to your hips. And let's take a forward fold with the hips wide, the feet wide, excuse me. Go all the way down, keeping your hands on your hips and drawing your elbows together behind you. Let the skull hang. Be aware of where you are balancing your body weight somewhere between the heels and the balls of your feet. Try not to sit back on your heels. Lengthen your torso out and up, pressing your feet to come up. Let's rotate to the side. Let's take a little bit of a wider stance to your comfort level. I like to go as far as my feet feel like they're sticky. That may not work for you. Hands to your hips, draw your torso out parallel to the floor. Let's stop when your torso is parallel to the floor. Bring your hands down to the floor. And then even if you need to bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with the first two fingers of either hand, tuck up your thumbs, Let's do a little bit of movement here. So we'll get some dynamic hip movement going on. Bending your knees deeply, bringing your thighs as parallel to the floor as you can, depending on how wide your stance is. And then lengthening up, straightening your legs as much as they'll straighten. And keep that movement. You can coordinate movement and breath. As your hips come down, your torso lifts. And it's up to you if you let your head drop when you straighten your legs. It's up to you how much movement you want to get in your head. Keep bending the knees and then lengthening up, working against that tension you're creating by pulling up on your big toes. We'll do two more of these. Also getting some nice engagement in the quadriceps. That's just sort of like a secondary thing. All right, once you're done with that, keep hold of your big toes. Let's get one big last lift to your chest and then bend the elbows out to the sides, draw the crown of the head to the floor. Neck muscles relax, face relaxed. Nice big belly breaths. Release your big toes, hands to the mat. Bring your feet together, a little bit closer together, and let's come down to the floor. Start by sitting on your heels, just getting a nice stretch to your quadriceps. Perhaps this is a stretch, perhaps it isn't. Sitting nice and tall, let your shoulders settle, let your skull settle over your spine. Bring your legs around in front. Let's go for a Paschimottanasana. Let's get just a little bit of normal hamstring stretch. Inhale, reach your arms above you and exhale, come forward and down. See whatever you can grab onto, keeping your torso nice and long. So somewhere between your knees and your toes is what I would imagine. 
And you don't need to pull. Again, kind of like what we were doing with holding onto the big toes in the wide leg stance, proserita. I like to do that here as well. So I do hold on to my big toes, but you can also hold on to your calf, your shins, whatever. I like to use this as a tension for lengthening my spine. So using this to help get more length out of my spine as I work my way down my legs. It's just a difference of intention. Is taking this sort of aggressive stretch pull thing away from my hamstrings that are already struggling. And I'm bringing it into my back that naturally wants to be lengthened. Bring your arms alongside your ears. Let's come on back up. And arms down to the sides. Let's go for a little bit of double pigeon. Bring your right ankle underneath your left knee. And then the left ankle on top of right knee. Resituate your sit bones. We're going to take 10 breaths. Make sure that you can see this right ankle outside of the left knee. And sit nice and tall. And in 10 breaths, after a couple of breaths, maybe you can start to tip yourself forward. Deep, full breaths. Face is soft. Shoulders are dropped. See if you can relax, release any tension in your hips. If you're ready for it, eventually start to tip forward, maybe find the floor with your hands. Again, working on just keeping the spine long. If your hands are on the floor, And that's 10. Let's start to walk your way back up. Lengthen up. And undo your double pigeon. Legs out in front, bounce them up and down. Rock them side to side. And let's do that on the other side. So the left ankle is underneath the right knee. Right ankle is on top of the left knee. I'm super impressed with myself that I said that right both times. Left ankle is a little bit forward of your right knee, so you can peek and see it. Lengthen your torso, sit nice and tall. Soften your face and jaw and shoulders. Let's start with 10 breaths. Maybe after breath three or four, you can start to hinge at the hip and tip forward.
Start to walk yourself back up. Take a breath, sitting nice and tall. Release your legs. Bounce them up and down. And rock them side to side. Let's come onto your back. Let's do a little bit of twisting here. Arms out to the side like a T. Press your right leg over the left and lower your legs to the left. Find some length in your spine. Deep breaths. Bring your knees back to center. The left leg wraps around right and then lower your legs to the right. Bring your legs back to center, unwrap. Arms next to your torso, draw circles on the ceiling. And go in the opposite direction eventually. And feet to the floor. Let's practice Shavasana. Let your bones settle. Let your muscles just sort of hang off the bones. Everything soften. Take a deep inhale. Sigh. Inhale and sigh. And a soft, effortless breath. As you're laying here, practice hamsa. On your inhale, think the word hum. On the exhale, think the word sa. Whenever your mind starts to drift away from that, just gently bring it back.
deepen your breath. Move your fingers and toes. Rotate your wrists, move your ankles. Stretch your body, reach your arms above you, legs away from you. And when you're ready, roll to one side. When you're ready, bring yourself back up to your easy seated position. Little thing from Pima Chodron about overcoming self-deception. The essence of bravery is being without self-deception. However, it's not so easy to take a straight look at what we do. Seeing ourselves clearly is initially, initially uncomfortable and embarrassing. As we train in clarity and steadfastness, we see things we'd prefer to deny, judgmentalness, pettiness, arrogance. These are not sins, but temporary and workable habits of mind. The more we get to know them, the more they lose their power. This is how we come to trust that our basic nature is utterly simple, free of struggle between good and bad. Take a deep inhale. Blow it out. Deep inhale. Blow it out. Take one more deep inhale, hold it in. Take one more sip. See if you can do another sip. Blow it out. All the way to the bottom. Blow it out once more and once more and breathe. Sit tall, lift the sides of your mouth and think a positive thought about yourself. Think another kind, positive thought about yourself. Practice self-compassion. And then bring to mind someone you love and think a nice, kind, compassionate, positive thought about them. May all beings in the universe be happy and free. And may our actions and our thoughts contribute to their happiness and their freedom. Namaste. Have a wonderful Friday, everyone. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Um, happy last month of April or last day of April. And I will see you on Wednesday morning. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.